Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, video here. I just want to explain to you a basic home network. Uh, this video won't take long. It should be pretty simple to follow. Uh, I've kind of set this up just so, you know, with some pictures of everything that I want to talk about. And if you're unsure and you want to see the different types of the pictures, just go to Google and type in like router images or switch images or computer images or USB or printer ports all that type of stuff a quick two minute search and you'll learn so much so I just want to explain this is like the typical network setup for most home users I will be getting into more advanced stuff like setting up routers for you know a, a company and all that stuff but I just want to start off with a basic you know how your network looks okay so chances are you have a cable modem which is like a DSL modem uh, you got your cable company came in and set up your TV and down the line you wanted internet so it's no problem because it's the same signal your modem just switches that signal from analog to digital so he probably came in and installed a wall jack here with either one or two female uh, coaxial cable ports here if there's only one you can just put a splitter on it and one goes right to your TV you've seen the standard coax cable one goes right to your TV the other one can go in from your wall here right to the back of your modem okay so this is what a modem looks like a typical modem mind you it's maybe not what yours looks like in your house but nowadays you're probably just gonna get an all-in-one router instead of like an old modem depending on what type of internet package you get but internet's pretty well used nowadays so the old modems can't really handle the, these speeds and everything so chances are you're just gonna get like a router which you know looks like this guy over here horrible arrow but whatever anyways so if not you have a K you have a cable modem here there's no wireless connection to it so you would have your cable that looks like this standard internet cable plugs in from another port all the way into the back of your computer and if you're unsure of where it plugs in I have a picture here of the back of most PCs and what they look like and you're gonna see a phone jack port right about here looks just like a phone jack a little bigger you just plop it in there that's it that's all it is to setting up your ethernet cable Okay. or if you don't want to go right to your computer and you want to set up wireless and your modem isn't wireless you can go to your nearest electronic store pick up a cheap uh, wireless router for like 30 bucks and when you look on the back of your modem here you're gonna see ports pretty much the same way as what these look right here okay so you just plug one of your ethernet cables here into the back of your modem and it just plugs right into the port you can pick a port doesn't really matter which port it is you're not really getting too technical with it you just simply want wireless so now from your router here you can take another ethernet cable they're cheap and plug it into another port and put that one right into your computer same way as you would the other with the modem same phone looking jack on the back of your PC here now that sets up your you know your local area network your LAN this is your home network right here you got wireless most routers nowadays you just plug it in the wall set up what we just did here with your cables and you have wireless if you want to know how to secure your wireless a little bit uh, I have a video I've already released with uh, securing your router. Check that out. It's pretty easy to follow step by step on how to get into your router, how to look for the passwords if you've forgotten them and all that. So just give that video a watch and you'll have wireless. So then this device here will send off wireless signals to your phone and your laptop and you'll be able to connect. Now here you have a printer so I threw this in because most people have printers in the house so a printer comes with a cable like looks like this sorry for the blue all the time guys it's not always blue like 
I know this blue here should be a black because it is a coaxial cable plugs into the back here but anyways so yeah you got your uh, print printer cable here so you got your standard USB connection right there plugs into the back of your computer which again on the back here if you don't really know where it looks it's kind of like this there's usually a grouping of two or four of them they're all pretty similar and the great thing about the computer is you cannot plug a cable in the wrong spot it just won't allow it so the USB connects to the back of your computer and the uh, the bigger end here looks like a fatter USB but skinnier plugs into your printer now that'll give this computer here access to this printer okay so if you want to give access to your phone and your laptop to have access to this printer well then your printer would need uh, wireless which again nowadays you can go out and buy a wireless printer for like forty dollars I myself have a wireless printer I think it cost me like sixty dollars like two years ago so once you plug it in physically with the cables to this computer here you'll follow the on-screen instructions on setting it up and chances are it's going to allow you to set up the wireless capabilities of your printer again I have a video covering that as well so just go back and check out how to install a printer and you'll get that idea so once that installed you can now print from your laptop and your phone wirelessly Okay. So it's pretty neat. So that's like a simple layout of your your network. So again, if you someone asks you to reset your modem, you know it's kind of looks like this. Or again, give it a quick Google search if you're uns unsure. It almost looks like a phone modem. You know, it's that usually that that big ugly box that they some you know always seem to put by your, your electrical panel. Probably the worst place to put something. But anyways, that's usually where it is and you know what a router looks like what it kind of can do it can you know give you wireless capabilities you know the ports on the background you got your ethernet cable so ethernet cable has an RJ45 connector which is that's what the end here is looks like the phone jack and the cable itself is you can either get in cat5 cat5e cat6 they all have better speed capabilities so that's it for now. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, I will re be releasing some more advanced uh, networking videos. Again, leave some comments, subscribe, and thanks for listening.